to win the title. We are set for five three minute rounds. It is time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with a record of seven wins and two defeats. Representing Team Cowboy. opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of six wins and five defeats. Representing Charles Martin Marshall, it's Adam Butterworth. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are into our bantamweight title fight. We have Caitlin Lochran representing Team Cowbon, taking on Adam Butterworth, six and five from Charles Martin's martial arts. I'm Connor Halliday alongside Jamie Hay. And I'm going to start off by saying I don't know how uh, Caelan made bantamweight because he's massive. Yeah, he's got like a real short shirt sort of stature to him, Caelan. Both great fighters uh, for this uh, amateur bantamweight title fight. Yeah, Adam Butterworth's been a, uh, a staple fighter here at All Might. Here. This is the first time we've seen Caelan on here, but well deserved with a 7-2 and two record. Yeah, both guys very experienced, like you say. You know. Oh, good, good strike there from Butterworth. With this being a title fight, they've got five rounds to work over as well. So I'm just about to say, I can't imagine seeing them uh, rushing anything, but they're, they're coming out quite strong. That long Thai kind of style coming from Kalen. Yeah, it's what you tend to get from the Calbon guys. You know, they've all, like, you look at Darren Till, and yeah. you know, obviously Colin Heron, a fantastic Thai fighter himself back in the day. And he, he's got that understanding of, of pressure and, and keeping guys at, away from where, where need be, but then pressuring with their hands. And that's why they keep the hands so extended. And then we've got on the opposite side, we've got Adam Butterworth representing Charles Martin's martial arts and Doncaster, a uh, very well-rounded fighter. His, uh, his last win, he, he put a man to sleep, so I think he might be looking to take this to the floor and uh, choke another man unconscious, but it's going to be a hard task in uh, Caelan Lockeran. Good work so far, though, using that head position up against the cage is Caelan. The size difference, aren't they? Nice ankle pick there from Caelan. The size like say, difference he's got, is, is... He's got a real Sean shirt sort of look to him, though. That, that, that stature, that small, yeah. sort of stocky stature can really sort of wrestle. There you go. You've got to watch his neck there, though. Yeah, Adam Butterworth very sneaky with his chokes. I've uh, watched many of his fights. I've commentated quite a few of them, and he's very... He's all-rounded, but, but when it comes to the ground, he's just sneaky with these kind of little positions and that, so... Yeah, originally, um, Calum was there trying to zip-tie them legs and trying to crawl up, but... He's caught that neck a little bit, so he's made him think and he's made him have to sort of maybe turn to go to side control instead now if he can pass across or he go back to the zip tie with the legs. Both guys looking unfazed in this first round under bright lights for the title. And they break and uh, Kalen takes the centre again. Head kick attempt from Adam Butterworth. Yeah, throwing that overhand. Lovely nice jab. Yeah, lots of fakes and feints coming from both guys too, which is good to see. Caelan with a nice left hand straight down the middle. Again, two opposite stances. We've seen a lot of this tonight, Jamie. Yeah, we have. And, you know, we've, we've seen, probably the most I've ever seen on one show. Yeah, a lot of South Park versus Orthodox. Fantastic sprawl from Caelan there. Tying that neck up. Last 10 seconds. Adam Butterworth will uh, see this round out, but Caelan's uh, seen it out on top. A very close first round. Um, I think the, the, the advantage with the takedowns and the uh, top control will probably go to Caelan, but yeah, a, a great first uh, round showing from both guys. Yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic night we've had so far. Almighty Fighting Championships 12. The Liverpool Olympia MVP in the house here as well, and he's here to watch the next fight. Connor Hughes versus Marcus Lewis. Two fantastic point strike karate fighters, which is where MVP came from, so that's why he's here tonight to watch these two really supporting his, uh, his home sport, really, yeah, of karate. A, his traditional sport, obviously, is the, one of the biggest stars in the world right now as well. So to have him down at Almighty Fighting Championships in Liverpool just goes to show how uh, far this show's come along from the first show. In the corner there as well, we've got Ali McLean now steps in the corner with, uh, with the Calbon team. Ali McLean, a very, very well-rounded fighter. We've seen him all over the UK, and it'd be good to see him back in the cage very, very soon himself. Yeah, Jiu-Jitsu wizard Liam Can in the corner of uh, Adam Butterworth too, so uh, some solid advice in both corners. 
Nice little smile from Kalen as we uh, get the second round started. Both guys looking rather fresh going into this round. Referee Simon Stadnicki gets us underway. In the second round of this uh, amateur bantamweight title fight. Nice head kick attempt from Butterworth. Oh, oh straight on the pipe. That was a starching shot from uh, from Kalen there. Spinning back fist. Again. When Kalen throws his strikes, he's throwing it with just bad intentions. Yeah, he, he just seems to have the edge over this fight at the minute. If it goes into the later rounds, though, that might be detrimental to his cardio, but I can't imagine he's, uh, he's coming into this fight unprepared. Ready to go five rounds. Oh, and he just... Oh, a little bit of, little bit of confidence there from, uh, from Kalen. Yeah, a little bit of showboat in there. Got to be careful with that, though. Oh, oh yeah, he did that again. <laughs> His head movement's been fantastic so far, though. Yeah, very tight, you know, leaning back, getting that head back. They really kept out of reach of any of them shots. Yeah, very confident fight. Both guys coming from reputable gyms, so you know they've trained hard for this fight. Adam Butterworth just keeping nice and calm under pressure as well. He's not letting these, uh, you know, the, the, the showmanship of Kalen, it's not letting him get to his head. Oh, and an uppercut he eats there. Oh, I love the shot straight across the body there. Right across the waistline. Just be careful throwing them naked kicks, just Butterworth, because uh, Kalen will counter him with them strikes straight down the middle, as he oh. does there, and another one. Yeah, I think he's just putting too much pressure on Butterworth at the minute. Butterworth smartly shoots him for that takedown there, right in his corner as well. If he can try and grind it out with uh, Kalen, try and tire, tire Kalen out, it might be working to his advantage and a beautiful sweep, but. A reversal from Kalen. Yeah, Kalen just knows exactly how to be composed and how to impose his will. You know, at the, at the minute, Butterworth just having to defend everything, whether it's on the feet, whether it's wrestling or whether it's uh, on the ground, he's having to just defend more than anything. And that's the most tiring part of the game. It is indeed. And, and when you've got someone as strong and uh, as, as pressuring as Kalen on top of you, it's very tiring throughout this fight for him. We could have a potential five rounds there, Connor. Yeah, exactly. So the, 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 they're going to be coming to this fight prepared for five rounds. I can't imagine either of them wants it to go five rounds, but, you know, we're in the MMA game. Anything can happen. He's that cross-face control there. Butterworth's doing really well at staying composed as well. He's, he's, he's been under pressure for the whole fight. But yeah, yeah, what's this arm triangle? He looks like he's trying to set a potential arm triangle up there. Does Kalen. he look? Doesn't want to be letting Caleb pass over into mount or side control here. Just to keep him tied up with them legs. Just to look for a sweep. And we've got the last 10 seconds now in the second round. Great work from Caleb. Yeah, another good round, round in the back from Caleb. There we go, round two in the book. Simon yeah. Stadnik is just having a quick word with uh, Caleb there. There was a complaint from the Charles Martin corner of Caleb grabbing the fence as Butterworth went for that sweep. We've got uh, Liam Can in the corner here, acting as a uh, acting as a, a bench, chair, yeah. yeah, acting yeah. as a, uh, a chair for uh, Adam Butterworth. Again, another strong round for uh, for Kalen, but Butterworth doesn't look phased. He's looking nice and calm under pressure. We'll see how he uh, plays it out in this uh, third round, Jamie. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, let's see let's see where this third round takes us. Because so far, so good really for uh, for Kalen. He just seems to have been able to impose his will. Wherever it's gone, just look the most composed out of the two. Yeah, he's, he, he's hitting and not being hit, which is, uh, you know... A big part uh, of the game. Yeah, yeah, if you're not getting hit, that's a good thing. And uh, seconds out for round number three. Kalen uh, telling Adam Butterworth to bring it in this round. Referee Simon Stadnicki gets us ready. And here we go for round number three of this amateur bantamweight title fight. Looks like Kalen's going to come out strong once again. Oh, oh. another left hand. Yeah, that yeah. left hand is a beautiful shot that he throws in. And he's actually pulled guard realistically there. Adam Butterworth maybe looking for something from it. He does look like he's going with that leg, so he may go for a flower sweep into an arm bar. He let that go. Oh, up and the break. Lots of strikes. That power's really showing through from... Uh, from, from Kalen though. Yeah, you can tell with the size of him just how big and strong these, these strikes are going to be. Butterworth strikes looking a little laboured, but... It's that piston left hand yeah. that he's got to watch yeah. for. As soon as he pressures back with that, that right hand jab and then throws that left hand, that's where... 
know, the, the issue comes for Butterworth. Goes for the sweep unsuccessfully. Yeah, I mean, happy to be on his back against a very good wrestler, but so far not done anything from his back to show that he's going to yeah. win this fight at the minute. Yeah, he's, he's looking for the sweeps, but there's just too much pressure coming from Kalen now, and now he's looking to work for a for a gear team from the mount now. Yeah, and he looks like he's... Oh, he's let that go. He's on the mount, though, now, and there's a long time of this round left, Connor. Yeah, it's where Butterworth needs to be careful and not letting... Uh, not letting Kalen posture up to strike, because we know he can strike hard. Strike hard, strike fast. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's raining down some ground and pound now. Referee taking a very close look. Yeah, he's putting some shots in now, and there's nothing to be answered to this. Stas Nicky could step in. Great movement from Butterworth. He's trying to stay in there. Yeah, he's a very high guard now. He may switch off for that belly down arm bar there. No, he's let that back into the mount, he's used that pressure, great wrestling there from the top. And we've still got time left in this round, it's not as if we've only 30 seconds left, he's going to have to move, he's grabbing the cage though with Kalen. but with smartly to keep moving. Yeah, he's very high up, thank God he's going to some big shots going down. A lot of landing on the... Oh, and there, there we go! go. Simon Stadnika throws a stop to this contest, round number three, we have a new amateur bantamweight champion. Well, let's like just say, uh, Caleb uh, Loughran there, what a fantastic performance from start to finish. Absolutely and a well-deserved title here in the Liverpool Olympia. Yeah, in front of his uh, in front of his hometown. Moves to eight and two in his amateur career. Adam Butterworth gave it all he could give. And uh, respect to Adam Butterworth for trying to stay in there, even when he was on the bottom, getting ground and pounded. I think uh, Kalen just looked a little bit too strong, a little bit too fast on top there. Great win for the uh, Team Cowbomb Fighter. And another belt to go up in there, Jim. Her own next UFC World Champion. Keep an eye on We'll uh, hand this one over to our uh, official MC, Mr. Lee Nicholson, and owner of Almighty Stephen Mayer, will be presenting Kalen with his new belt. Third belt. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, please show your appreciation for both men in the cage. And so this title contest has reached its conclusion. Two minutes and five seconds into round number three for your winner by TKO. And now, almighty fighting championship battle to one champion in the red corner. Appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, for Adam, Adam.